Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, friends. All right, so today has been a really shitty day and I need to play a game or something to cool down. Yeah, so today I'm gonna play a really badass game. At least in my opinion, it's a really badass game. If you've never played this game, then shame on you. This is one of those games that uh, if you need to play it with people, but we're gonna, we're gonna play it by ourselves because that's what I'm doing right now. Brutal Sports Football for the Atari Jaguar. This game is really fun to play, even by yourself, but with people. This game is a hoot and a holler, I'll tell you. I didn't really notice that until I actually had some friends over one time, and uh, we played this game, and oh my god, it was amazing. I enjoyed the game before that, don't get me wrong, I really did, but it wasn't until I actually played it with people. The, and the game is actually, at least at the time of this recording, is pretty cheap, so it's totally worth it. Us as programmers, we have very stressful jobs, and today was just one. One of those days where I need to find some way to relieve some of the heartache of a day where you work really hard on something and absolutely nothing comes of it. All right, that's what's happening. And Atari Jaguar, Brutal Sports Football, is going to be my way of doing that before I move on with the rest of my afternoon. Inside the box, Pretty simple, right? We got our little manual. We got, this is one of the most plainest game cartridges I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, come on, look how freaking plain looking that is. Yeah, look at that. Atari Jaguar. Oh. If you don't have an Atari Jaguar, I'll tell you, it's a sexual experience owning one. I don't know what it is about having one, but it's freaking awesome. Maybe it's the controller. Maybe it's just the fact that it's a fairly rare console and that every game is expensive with the exception of some. Maybe it's the fact that I feel like I can order a pizza with this gamepad. I don't know. I don't care. I want to play a fucking game. Now I got to put my old man glasses on. And you know what? I'm not cool enough to wear a backwards hat. Oh, shit. I almost forgot. Today's beer, or at least the beer right now. I'm continuing down some of the gluten-free stuff. Uh, this was one that I found in the gluten-free aisle yesterday. It's called New Belgium. They have an accent on the U, so it's supposed to be pronounced gluteny, I think. It's a pale ale. Um, I don't, I've never had it before. Let's see, is that a twist off? It's not. So let's give this a try before I run upstairs and go grab the opener. If you have one of these types of wedding rings, you can kind of grab it up underneath. Uh, do this at your own risk because you could break your finger doing this if you don't do it right. Ah, here we go. As you can see, I've been to a lot of uh, football games, NFL football games. Um, so <laughs> I've learned a lot of the tailgate tricks and that's one of them. So here we go. Let's give this one a try. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. And for those of you guys that haven't been following, this is kind of a new series that I'm doing here on Ribbit.net. Gaming therapy is just kind of a relieving stress type thing that I'm working on. It's just something for me to do. And uh, the gluten-free beer thing, it's not a permanent thing. I'm not a gluten-free person. It's just something that I'm doing now. I've lost a couple of pounds doing a gluten-free, low-carb diet, so I'm sticking to it for the moment. It's not permanent. I don't judge people who aren't. So, and uh, you know what? Full disclosure. Oh, there's the Jaguar. It's up and running. Uh, full disclosure, I've had a couple of beers before we started. Have you played Atari today? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this opening sequence is great. You got the flying stars coming at your face. Oh yeah. Telegames! Now, um... The Atari Jaguar is kind of a fascinating piece of hardware, you know. It was kind of advertised as a 64-bit console. And, you know, you get different stories depending on who you, uh, who you talk to. I gotta turn the volume up a little bit. I Hopefully it doesn't screw up the capture. Oh yeah, I brought two beers. That's what I was reaching for a second ago. I brought two of these beers down, so just in case I run out of one. Uh, but you can clearly see from these graphics, this is not a 64-bit game. They did a lot of, I think, ports of 16-bit uh, games because it had the 68,000 microprocessor in it. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna f it. I'm close enough to the screen, I don't think I need my glasses. Um, which was the same microprocessor, I believe, that the Sega Genesis had. So they were able to, uh, have games that looked like Sega Genesis games on this system. And a lot of the games, you know, had that look and feel to it. 
So I don't think a lot of the games for the Jag really um, lived up to the potential that they could have been. Uh, so, you know, those of you guys that uh, are playing this game, one player is good to play a league. Um, you know, unfriendly, knockout, I, I, I don't know, you guys try this. If you have a Jaguar, buy this game, it's cheap. I don't want to name prices because immediately it dates the recording. But right now this game is, is not that expensive at all. But what I'll, I'm just going to play one game. Just make it really simple and fun. So if you've never played this game before, although it's called Brutal Sports Football, it's hardly a football game. It is sort of a crossbreed between American football, soccer, or what the world calls football, and rugby. Where basically you kind of, everybody just kind of beats the shit out of each other, tries to kill each other. And um, the end goal is to either score as many, you know, score more points than your opponent by the end, <coughs> or kill uh, six of your opponents. So you'll see if you haven't played this game, but it's t f awesome. All right, I'm gonna choose the novice skill level so I have a good chance of winning. All right, so we're playing the Vandals. Mother f All right, here we go. All right, so I'm the guys on the left, I'm the red guys. Poop! So I'm hitting B to punch. All right, so now I have, oh shit, I had the ball. So I can hit the C button to dive. Now I have the ball, so I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Running. So my goal is either run into. Uh, come on, bitch. So I got that. See, I got the sword there. Oh, shit. Automatically changed my character. All right, run up. Oh, One of the things that's gonna happen when you play this game is your uh, your left finger on the directional pad is gonna hurt like a mother f because you're gonna push down for dear life. So you, you notice how the the opponent there was running really slow? It's because he got a power down. Ugh, see, I got a sword. I can stab the guy. F you! Just missed him. And the goal would have been totally open had I knocked that motherfucker out. All right, all right. I'm gonna sc score. God damn it! No, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Alright, so I am working at a handicap. I took my glasses off and, uh. Fuck you! Alright, so once you have my goalie got the ball and punted it away, uh, you hit the uh, C button to punt it away. Sh fuck you! The computer just scored. God damn it. Totally not cool. You'll see that there's like power-ups and stuff on the field. There's like shield. You can only get that when you're F man. I'm really sucking ass. Oh, I'm gonna score! Oh my god! How did I not just score? All right, I'm, you know what? I can't wait till I edit this because I gotta review that. You asshole. From my perspective, all right. See, I, I just scored. I threw the, I threw the ball in the hole, which is what was supposed to happen. Fuck you asshole. Yeah, man. I had some people over, and we played this game, and we we couldn't stop. It was so much fun. See the bunny rabbit there. Uh, if you get that, you run fast. See how he's running really slow? It's because I, he picked up, I forget what the power down, it's like a snail or something, I forget. When I see it, I'll point it out. Now, I know this game came out for a multitude of I looked at the camera and I lost track of what was going on. Um, I know this game came out for a multitude of platforms. I believe that it came out for the Amiga computer, which all- there's the snail right there. I don't know if you, if you saw it. If not, uh, during the post-production, I'll point it out. Um, the Amiga computer- see, he's, he's got the snail. 
Ah, and I still could not run him. So now I got the rabbit. Oh, now we got. He got the rabbit. Um. The f was I just talking about? Doesn't matter. I just scored. Oh yeah, this is gonna be at least two beers. <clears throat> now, I think I drank three beers uh, setting up for the afternoon. For the evening, I don't even know what time it is right now. I got an eBay auction that I'm working on too, so I, that I gotta keep an eye on. Trying to buy some Sega Saturn stuff. Some more Sega Saturn stuff. Never have too much. When uh, when you play this game with another person, it gets competitive. <laughs> pretty pretty quick. And you know, I don't judge people who don't drink. And I know at some point in my life, I. You know, I'll probably cut out the drinking, but I'm not quite there at this moment. Um, but when you get a bunch of people together and everybody's having, like, beers and whatever, or you make a drinking game out of it, um, this game is f wild. Um, now, as far as emulation's concerned, now, like I said, I'm playing on the real hardware here. Bam! Uh, I'm playing on the real hardware here, which I recommend that you do because I like to support the game collecting community and the people that work hard on collections and stuff. I like to support their hard work. Um, but what I will say is this game actually emulates pretty well. The Atari Jaguar in general does not emulate well. I think most of the 68,000 uh, emulation games emulate okay. 68,000 microprocessor games, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk and Oh my guy lost his head! No! <laughs> I'm down a guy. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, well, at least I'm up ahead in the points. See, I'm not paying attention on whether I'm killing their guys or not. So you see how my dude's head's on the ground? You f head. See, here's the problem. You could be up 20 to nothing, but if they kill six of your guys, this bitch is over, man. They s AI can be kind of stupid, though. They, they pick up power-ups even if it kills them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna throw the ball in the hole. So you could also- see, watch, I could pick- oh, f hold on. I think I could pick the head up, right? Yeah. I could- No, oh, it automatically changed my guy, but I think you could pick the heads up and use- Oh, shit. I threw the ball right- right at him. See the other- see the guy walking around with the head? That's pretty funny. Most Jaguar games, though, don't emulate very good, except for some of the marquee titles. I mean, hell, even Doom doesn't, um, emulate very well. All right, now, now it's turning into a bloodbath. You know, I know uh, some games like Alien vs. Predator emulates okay, but it has its moments. Just get the real hardware. I mean, I know Jaguar is expensive to collect for because you know, some of the games are rare. Because it was a. Oh, I got one of your heads, bitch. Because it wasn't a successful system. I get that. I get that. Oh, shit. I picked up a snail. But god damn it, is it fun? Ugh! Okay, now this. See, now the stress levels are going down. Going down. Not completely. I may need some more Jag after this. We'll see. Okay! Victory belongs to me! 
See, the games actually go by pretty quick, especially, you know... Well, if you really get good at the melee stuff and you start chopping people's heads off, the games go by very quick. Alright, so let's see. Bam. And the Viking says... I kind of wish it was a middle finger. That would just make this so much cooler. So 8 to 1 is the score. See how I made money? If you check that out, I made some money. Uh, the money can be used to heal your players. Now this is a championship, so I'm not actually going to play a championship. So that's freaking um, brutal sports football for the Atari Jaguar. It's not quite football, it's not quite soccer, it's not quite rugby, it's not quite gladiatorial combat. But it's a lot of fun with some brews and with some friends. And it's a great way to relieve stress after you've had a really shitty day at work. So there's some gaming therapy from Wibbit.net. Check back in for the next session when we play. I don't fucking know. We just do this whenever we feel like it. All right, guys. Peace out. See you later. Bye.